Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are in 2000, 2020. I was going to say something else. I don't know what I was going to say, but I had to stop and think for just a second. Eh, it is what it is. Um, we're going to see a lot of my head in this video because I still haven't figured out how to keep my head out of the way so that I can figure out so that I can see because I'm blind. I am blind as a bat. So lots of head shots going to be happening in there, but at least it's washed, right? At least the hair is washed. <laughs> All right. No, the hair was doing good that day. Um, I didn't have it pulled up back in braids like I normally do, but it was fine. It was good. It was grand. Anyways, so we are planning for the week of January 6th through the 12th. And I'm using this fantastic kit from my shop. It's called uh, Back With Planning. I wonder why. Hmm. Yeah. Um, fun, fun kit. Love it. Love the colors. It is definite. There's definitely no pink in this kit. Definitely no pink in this kit. Um, anyways, so I have my planner here. So if you hear something off to the side flipping back and forth, that's just me because I don't know how to be quiet. So story time. I got through all of the planning in multiple planners, you guys, multiple planners. And it dawned on me, I forgot to do one important, very important thing. And that important thing was wishing my husband a happy anniversary in my planner to like put it down saying, I wish you a happy anniversary or something like that. Or something to the effect that said, happy 14th anniversary. Big, big failure. Big, big failure. So, I am professing my love to my husband right now. Thank you for being with me for the past 14 years. And being married with me and going on this fun adventure that we call life. Because it's fun. So, that's right you guys. 14 years. Trust me, it doesn't feel like 14 years. It feels like maybe 5 six. I don't know. He's a pretty cool guy. So, hmm. all right. So that's my epic fail for this week in planner. Dump. And when I say that it failed in multiple planners, I'm talking it failed in three, three planners that I plan in. Wasn't intentional. I promise. It's just, I got in the zone. I kept going. I'd already wished him a happy anniversary on a day early and then I just totally forgot to put it in the planner so okay so we have been eating a little bit differently here at home and I wanted to track this a little bit better I will probably end up transitioning any food stuff over to my memory planner um, it will just depend sometimes I'll put it in here sometimes I'll put it in the memory planner but anyways um, We've been eating a little bit differently and trying a whole bunch of new recipes and I can say that we had two failures. I want to say we had two failures. I know for one we had one complete failure where it was like and yeah that sucks and it was meatballs and sauce. The sauce was really really good. See there's my head. In fact you can actually see my glasses because I have I literally cannot figure out how to see my planner, yet keep it in frame. I'll figure it out, I promise. And maybe some of it just needs to be that I just need to zoom in closer. Good thing I keep filming because the more I do it, the more I'll figure it out. Anyways, um, meatballs and sauce. The meatballs didn't form correctly, um, and I know all the reasons why. It's just I was a little bit on the lazy side. So let's just figure that out. So it ended up being more just like a spaghetti sauce, but we had no spaghetti noodles because we don't are not eating spaghetti noodles right now. It would have been really great in like a lasagna or something, like superb. But yeah, it was just like a total failure. But then we had tons of other things. We had something called, we had this um, creamy Italian chicken that had spinach and tomatoes and just so much garlic and it was so oh my gosh it was so good uh, two of my kids did not like it um, one of my kids thought it was okay and the other one was like nah good job mom so yeah <sighs> adventures in cooking 
I actually love to cook, you guys. Like, I really, I really love to cook. And anybody who's come over to my house on Thanksgiving can attest to this, that cooking is my jam. It's, it's how I, it's how I speak love is through cooking. So if I invite you over to my house for Thanksgiving and you eat my food, that is how I'm saying that I love you. Um, that's just how it works. So this last week and even the week before, um, cooking has been, it's been nice. I won't say it's been easy because anything that's going to take up more time is always going to be more difficult in my current schedule, but it's been nice getting back to that level and going through and chopping and smelling all those aromas and actually having it turn out to taste good because there have been many a times you guys that I have cooked something and it smells great. It looks great. And then I taste it and I'm like, what garbage can did this come from? And it's a very frustrating thing as somebody who, for anybody that cooks, that you think it's going to be fantastic and then it turns out like garbage. So I'm pleased to say that everything turned out actually fairly decent in all of this. So yay for me. So um, I'm trying to think of what else. What else should we talk about besides food? Because I'm actually a little hungry right now, so I don't really want to talk about food. Um, we're nearing the end of the TPC sale, so thank you all for your orders. Had a fun time going on the live with Caitlin on Tuesday. That was absolutely fantastic. And then talking with everybody in the comments during the big old live on Wednesday. And then I loved jumping in on Aaron's live on Thursday. Um... Oh my goodness, I just realized that there was an area that I just never put a sticker. And you see that sticky note on the top of Thursday? Yeah, I never ended up putting a sticker there. Shame on me. Apparently because I don't have any stickers that talk about Dungeons and Dragons. I have two boys that are in love with Dungeons and Dragons and meet up every Friday. This last week it was Thursday. Meet up every Friday with their friends to, well, D and D it out. That's what they do. And you know what? I couldn't be more happier. So, um, if you have recommendations for D and D stickers, drop them down below because apparently I'm going to need them because I failed on that part. So we have a very busy week coming up. And I'm so happy that this planning is getting done because it's a super busy week of filling orders and getting back onto our normal schedule of getting to Taekwondo and dance on the days we're supposed to. And because this upcoming week, I start dance myself. I'm actually really, really excited to go back to dance, even though at the very last dance day in November, just before Thanksgiving, I apparently broke my toe. I, that's how hard I go at it, you guys. Like I give 110%. This is how hard I go. I broke a toe and I didn't realize I broke a toe until like two, three weeks later when it was Thanksgiving and I'm like, I think I broke a toe or was that Christmas time? It was, no, it was Thanksgiving time that I broke a toe. So it's still, I can tell it still hasn't healed up a hundred percent. And I'm kind of dreading going to dance for that just because I don't want to re-injure it, but I need to go back to dance. So say la vie. Apparently my son and I are two peas in a pod because why he goes ahead and breaks toes and wrists at Taekwondo, I'm just going to go ahead and break my toe when I'm at dance, which is funny because I did dance all through my childhood and well into my early adult years and I never broke a toe. Never. I've sprained toes and I sure have sprained ankles and all of those things, but I'd never broken a toe. And here I am in my mid-30s thinking I'm still young and going through it and I break a toe. And let me tell you, 
when you figure out you finally have broken a toe, everything hits it. Everything hits it. And mind you, it was not a big toe. It was a pinky toe. So put all the vibes out there that when I go back to dance this week, that I don't hurt it again. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and make sure you give me a thumbs up, you like, you subscribe, you do all of that jazz. Enjoy the last few minutes of this and drop me a comment down below. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.